So I want to talk about my strategy for how I spend jewels in El Dorado. Um, since I argued that that is the best way for you to grow stronger faster, in another video I want to talk about how I spend jewels um, and I think is a fairly efficient way to do it. So you see here, you're asked with the question, buy 120 energy for X amount of jewels. This one is asking me for 200 jewels. And I'm going to say no. I will always say no unless it's a rate up event for 200 joules. And here's why. So first of all, every day I buy enough energy. I buy the first four. I buy 50, 50, 100 joules and 100 joules. And I outline this strategy in my blog in much more detail. Um, that's 300 joules I spend every day. I get the monthly pack and that covers that cost. And then um, the reason I don't go any higher is because when you're comparing spending 200 joules in a regular event to an El Dorado event, the value <clears throat> essentially is halved. So what that means is in an El Dorado event, the maximum amount of energy refill you'll cost after you refresh like eight times or something is 360 joules for 120 energy. And to compare the two, um, it's actually more efficient never to buy this uh, when the rate's up and I explain that in the blog a little bit more So I only buy that that's all the energy I have for the day and then I always go through all of these and get my Shards because nothing's more frustrating when you're really trying to push weapons and you find that you have no shards no weapon uh, shards so I go ahead and go do all of these once and then I actually take a look and see if I need any extra shards. I actually look before this and I see that I'm low um, on hearts. I'm not actually going to push my hearts too much, so I'm not going to refresh that one. I'm low on the bows, so I'm actually just going to buy one refresh. I'm not going to buy any more because, you know, again, I don't want to spend too much. Let's see, and I'll buy actually this one because I want more hammer shards. And I got, uh, got two. All right, so that's all I'll do at first, and then I'll spend the rest of my energy looking at what I actually want to boost up next. So I know that I want to get this sacred, sacred wood up, and generally you want to be strategic on which ones you choose. I chose this one because I want to start preparing and collecting these guys for when I get my, my tome to plus three. So you can be very strategic about which one you choose. Um, generally, I spend quite a bit more time looking because uh, you see that there were actually three choices. See what I want to farm, etc. Um, and then you make a decision from there. And you can really strategize which ones you farm. Let's see, I got about 30 of them. Great. I'll be able to finish that off and then start the long haul of collecting this. But it's worth it because that crit bonus is really powerful. But anyways, that's my general strategy. So I'm done with El Dorado uh, for the day. I don't do anything else. I never use my potions. Uh, it's just a waste, and I just I just sit. I'm done for the day. That's all I do. Um, and then, this is just a fun fun little video here. Let's see this guy. Uh, let's replay. So I only have my landslide on my base. You see my face in the reflection there. And this is what landslide does. So this guy is just uh, just going. Let's just speed it up. He uses all his divines. Blah blah blah. Okay, and then my landslide's just going like crazy. He, you see he's at full health after about 30 seconds of his whole team attacking me directly. Um, and then he's still at full health, and you see that they're all following him because he taunted them. And so that's exactly what you see happen. So he was following some mercenaries, and I'll speed it up a little bit. You see that. Here's my landslide. You see his, his health actually started to go down, then I think he taunted and got some dodge. All those misses is them trying to hit landslide. And look how much they're missing him. That's why investing in this is so good, because this is 5 versus 1, and they can't kill him. He kills everybody, and then he quits because he can't hit the flyers, and then it's uh, it's just the, uh, the guild bot taking out those flyers the rest of the way. And then uh, that's the attack. That's all that this guy did, you see? Uh, he did, he, he dealt, how much damage did he do? He only did 351,000 damage despite all of these heroes hitting for a while, um, for like a minute and a half. And that's because Landslide was just dodging like crazy. Let's look at his, uh, let's just look at that orange heart. It's so good to get up to the next color tier. Um, there's, there's a significant, there's not that big of a boost between, say, plus two purple and uh, plus three purple. It's nice, it's very nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not as big as going from say purple to orange or from blue to purple. So if you can, you know, you see, hey, if I, 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 you know, if you're trying to debate between say getting this to plus one or say getting this to purple, and these were your only main two weapons, I'd recommend getting this to purple first and then you can work on them up from there. 
But let's just look at that heart. Let's see. What's it, what's it do? What's it do? Uh, has a 33% chance to restore 11% of HP after do dodging an attack. And also, if hit 20 times, which he got hit ton tons of times, the hero also gets a boost that increases dodge by 22%. So he has quite a bit of dodge uh, continually, and his dodge rate's already 22%, so he gets a 44% dodge rate, minus their hit rate, of course. And then um, he gets that heal of 11% every time he dodges. And so... You see, it adds a good amount of HP. So I actually might push that heart even higher for him just because I love it. I love it so much. Um, you see, once you evolve it to the next tier, you even get 2.4% more dodge and, and like 8,000 more health. So I'm just really, really addicted to this heart. I love it so much. Um, I might even do that before any other orange weapons. But I, like I said, my strategy would be to get these purple guys up at least closer to orange first, if not to orange before I start working on the heart. Plus... I haven't beaten the level to, to farm those yet, so I need probably all weapons at Orange and maybe even Libra Evolution to even stand a chance. But that's my general strategy for when there's no raid up event and no special uh, no special El Dorado things going on. And I outline in my blog what my strategy is for when there is a raid up event, but no Lord's Gone Wild. Um, basically what it is, is you want to spend up into 360 jewels. Uh, you want to do all the refreshes until it costs the maximum amount. And then just spend that energy same way. I would might actually spend a little bit more refreshing for shards, depending on what your shard situation is. And then in a Lord's Gone Wild event, you go wild. You know, spend as many jewels as you possibly can. Uh, but if you haven't been farming the weapon shards, in, in, in the meantime, you're really going to hurt. Um, you know you're going to have tons of materials, but you're not going to be able to progress as quickly if you haven't been farming these weapon shards. And of course, another way to get them would be going to the shop. Uh, let's see, material store. And of course, you know you see this 300 jewels. Uh, I'll never buy that. But if they have any for gold, I'll go ahead and buy that. Just refresh one time. Let's see, ooh, a diamond. So off United Car. I don't even have that anymore. Anyways, um, okay, so that's my strategy for El Dorado. Good luck, and uh, I'll have more info on my blog.